these worlds. Today, in the lab, we are working on distillation. But before we start anything, safety first. Our goggles, our protective lab coat, and now let's have a look at today's apparatus. We have a distillation apparatus set up. Distillation is used in a variety of places. Oil refining is one example that we would find everywhere we go. So in our distillation apparatus, we have a heat plate, we have a condenser, we have a beaker at the end to catch our liquid, and we have a flask with a side outlet. The process of distillation is two steps. Step one, evaporation. In our flask, we have a, some nice orange Gatorade. As the Gatorade heats and boils, as we see here, it is boiling by the bubbles. If we get a close-up of the flask, we will see the bubbles going up and down. The water that's in the Gatorade boils and evaporates and turns to water vapor. That water vapor then runs up through the neck of our flask and tries to escape. The cork on the top prevents it from escaping. When the water vapor is not able to escape, it runs down our side outlet into our condenser. Our condenser is a tube within a tube. Cold water enters through the intake and exits through the outtake into our sink. Ooh, cold. As it boils and turns into water vapor, it enters the condenser and then it goes through a process of condensation. Step two. Condensation occurs and the water vapor returns back to a liquid and runs down through our condenser into our waiting beaker. If we get a close up here, we can actually see the water droplets falling into our beaker. So we go from an orange liquid solution to a clear colorless solution. Our Gatorade starts off, goes through evaporation, then the water vapor goes through condensation and returns back to a clear, colorless liquid. Oh, delicious. That ends it for today's visit to the lab here in Cheese World. Cheese World!